But guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Jinmoji feature here on your iPhone. Before we do dive in this guide, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point you guys do have any questions, ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to respond to every single comment. First things first, you are going to need to have a compatible device. Genmoji was first made available on the iPhone 16 models as well as the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Also, your iPhone must have at least iOS 18.2 or newer in order to go ahead and do this. To check, you just need to go into your settings and if you scroll down, you'll see a general option and then a software update. I'm currently on ios 26 so this is going to work for me it actually works even better in ios 26 and onward so keep that in mind now to actually use jinmoji begin by opening up the messages app and go to whatever chat and tap on any conversation it really doesn't matter which one you do select the little message button here and then tap the emoji icon down in the bottom left of the keyboard and now you'll see a new option that says jinmoji go ahead and select it and then you'll have a few different options number one you can just tap on a few different emojis and it'll go ahead and combine them like for example i could go ahead and do something like this emoji right here and then i could also go ahead and add another emoji like this and it'll go ahead and combine those emojis but on top of that you can describe a gen emoji as well so you could say something like heart eye emoji with tongue out and then once you hit this little checkbox it'll go ahead and begin making that emoji as you can see it looks kind of stupid but it looks like this it'll actually give you a bunch of different options to swipe through as well if it did make multiple ones but whenever you're ready simply go ahead and tap on the checkbox or if you're not happy with it click on these three lines and you can actually edit the caption as well as change what exactly the prompt you put in was when you do save it though, it'll pop up within your emojis. As you can see, it'll be in this section. But on top of that, if you use it consistently, it'll be in here. So here's a 6-7 emoji that I made recently. That's what it looks like. But yeah, overall, it really is as simple as that. If you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below. Before you do leave this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. Who does help with the channel? Let's us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.